Hi friends, I hope you're having an inspiring day. So today we are doing an H&M spring haul. Every season I feel like I like to check out what's new for that brand for that season and h and is starting to come out with some pretty good stuff. I would say that all of the collections are kind of trickling in and not coming in all at once so it's making it a little hard but I did find a few key pieces that I want to try with you. You know the drill, we are going to try it out, we are going to test it, we are going to do the first impressions together and we are going to make sure that it adds value to my closet. Let's get changing. Well, bam let's start with dresses. This dress, well, this print in particular, really caught my eye online. I just really liked the sort of in-between floral slash linen sort of look. And I felt like this was going to go with my sort of neutral closet, but with a little bit of like a statement punch. Now, this dress, I really just wanted to try on to see how it would fit. And it actually looks better on, I feel like, than it did on online. So just to move in a little bit closer, it's got a few different elements to it, a sort of A-line skirt here. Um, the print is beautiful. I really do love this fabric. It is like a linen-y sort of fabric, so really breathable, really great for the spring. It's got these really cute cutouts here, which I'm surprised actually fits a lot better than I thought, considering there's no sort of manual element to it. It's got the puffy sleeves here, which are super comfortable, so these stretchy portions here definitely don't like pinch my arm or anything it's also got a zipper enclosure which is also great which is I feel like also gives you an idea whether or not the dress is gonna fit well or not if it is a stretchy dress it might not hold its shape as well look as expensive um, but if it doesn't have a zipper it's gonna be really hard to get into um, and also just not be comfortable so it does have a side zipper here and then the back details are really cute I feel like this little bit of a cutout open back here is really cute Gives it a really nice little, little peekaboo action. It does also have this stretchy elastic portion here, which I feel like is great so that it can kind of form to the body type that you have. Uh, this is a size small. I am typically a size small, so I would say that fits true to size. If you want it to be even tighter, like I wouldn't recommend it because I personally like to be really comfortable in my clothing, um, but you can see here that there's actually a little bit of extra uh, fabric here, so I could have probably gone for an even smaller size, but I think at this size it just makes it a lot more comfortable as a summer dress, and nobody wants fabric sticking to them when it's hot outside. This is actually made with their 55% uh, organic cotton or something like that line, uh, but anyhow, this one is $34.99. It reminds me a lot of the Revolve reformation dresses. All right, let's move on to tops. Now, H&M has a lot of really great spring tops. There was nothing that I felt like was really missing in my closet. I have like my really nice core basics, like my tanks and mock necks and t-shirts and things like that. Um, so I didn't feel the need to kind of pick up any more, but they did come out with quite a few really nice ones that I feel like if you are missing those pieces, they are great for those sort of spring, summer basics. But this top, so it's actually the same print as um, the dress that I just wore, is so cute. Again, this is one of those pieces that if you told me was a designer, I would actually believe you. Um, it looks a lot like those, yeah, Reformation Revolve style. So this one here is a tube top. It actually has a matching skirt to it. I wasn't really drawn to the skirt, so I didn't pick it up. Although now having seen this sort of linen printed fabric, I actually really, really like it. So this one here has two elastics. It's got elastic up top here before the ruffles and then an elastic at the bottom here. It is quite a thin fabric. It's a little bit more of like a chiffon style fabric than the dress version, I would say. This one is only $14.99 though, which is insane and amazing. Uh, a couple things, it is a little bit sheer. So my little hack for this is that I actually use these cups from um, my swimsuit and I kind of just plop them in here uh, to give myself a little bit of extra coverage. Sometimes the nipple pasties will kind of leave a weird shadow, but this one actually worked really well. So it is a tube top all the way around, nothing too crazy. It is a stretchy based fit. So um, for this one, I probably could have gone down a size and made it an extra small, which would fit a little bit tighter, give me a little bit more support. Two tops like this, um, especially in this fabric, definitely don't give a lot of support if you're larger chested. Um, here's like a little bounce test for you. I'm trying to actually do the bounce test myself because the last thing you want is to wear this and for it to fall off. Next in tops is actually not a women's collection piece. This is actually from the men's collection. Now, if you saw my Zara 
haul recently, you'll know that I'm actually looking for the perfect blue Oxford shirt. I feel like it's one of those staples I'm really missing in my closet. And I love the look of it, especially that classic sort of very casual vibe. So I decided to try this one here. So this is a men's version. They didn't really have a blue sort of Oxford oversized shirt that I was looking for, a silhouette that I was looking for in the women's section. I figured that I would try the guy's section here. Now at first glance, this shirt actually checks off all the boxes. It has a little bit of the overhang over the shoulders that I'm looking for. That's what gives it a sort of oversized look. Billowing sort of straight line. Uh, silhouette longer sleeves which again I also like I just think that pushing up your sleeves when you have a longer sleeve length just gives it a really nice ruching action now unfortunately I feel like this still isn't the perfect one I don't know you guys weigh in on it I really do like the fit of it but I'm moving closer so you can kind of see the fabric it's a little bit of a thicker style of linen-y fabric obviously because it is made for men. Uh, this is actually a size small in the men's. Now, I really like the length, but again, that fabric here is not exactly what I'm looking for. It's a little bit too linen-y for me. I'm actually looking more for like a crisp blue shirt. This is a little bit of a deeper blue for me. I know these are really small little details, but I'm really trying to be more thoughtful with what I bring into my closet. So for me particularly, this is going to actually be returned. Unfortunately, the search for the perfect blue Oxford shirt continues. All right, moving on to bottoms. Now, the sweat short trend is a vibe it is a thing this season and I cannot be more for it because I have sweat shorts just in general because of comfort um, but these ones here are a little bit more stylistic so these are actually the wide leg sweat shorts there's no sort of drawstring here so it is a stretchy thick band which we like but it doesn't have any adjustable element beyond the actual elastic so this is actually a size small Quite happy about it because typically I like to size up on my sweat anythings. I just find that being more comfortable equates to it being a little bit larger on me. But this one actually does fit very well and comfortably. It also has pocket elements which is very nice and welcome. So in terms of the fabric, it's actually a little bit of a lighter terry fabric. So definitely not thick or heavy duty which is kind of nice for the spring season. I don't know if Everlane is coming out with one, but I really like their terry fabric. Um, although it is a little bit thicker, it just feels a little bit more high quality when you put it on. That being said, I do feel like I wear these very often, both as PJs, loungewear, workwear, I work from home, uh, walking the dog. So I do feel like these are going to get a lot of wear this season. They fit really well, are really comfortable, and these also were only $14.99. They also have a lot of colors, so if you're looking for them, I would get in on it now before it gets warm warm because I feel like they will definitely be a style that sells out. If you have seen my other H&M hauls, you'll know that I really like their ribbed collection. I find it really, really soft and really comfortable. Um, I did notice that I didn't need to size up on the ribbed pants at H&M. I did make the mistake. I got a medium and then realized that I needed a small. So these are the chocolate brown color that they came out recently with. This is actually not very similar to the other ones that I have that are in like that light beige fabric. It's actually not as like soft touch, but because of that, these actually look a lot more like regular pants than they do loungewear, like the other set that I got in the winter time. I do feel like this is also a very trendy look right now. Uh, we are here for the trends this season. It is that sort of just casual, very basic sort of wear. Uh, the ribbed pants obviously also very very in style right now i'm very glad that if you saw my zara haul i actually got another pair of rib style leggings much more trendy much more fashion forward i ended up returning those um just because i didn't feel like i'd have very many places to wear it and it wouldn't be as versatile and these ones here i feel like are so much more versatile you can wear them with a white oxford shirt wear them with a tank crop like this um or just like a blouse tied up or a tank top tucked in and it just looks so clean, so effortless, um, and we are here for the comfy vibe. And these pants here are $19.99. They don't do anything for the butt, but they are comfortable AF. All right, moving on to spring jacket, spring coat. So you guys know that I'm a big blazer lover, but I do have most of the blazers that I kind of want. Um, and h and wasn't really offering anything that I feel like I was missing in my closet. That said, you know that my love for trench coats runs strong. Um, I have three trench coats. They're all from Everlane. They're my favorites. But I don't have a sort of a white, oversized looking trench coat and that's one of those things that's really trendy right now and one of those trends I feel like also remains a classic so we know that we love that sort of philosophy now that is why I kind of wanted to try on this white 
oversized trench coat here. And at first glance, it's actually incredible. So it's got these really nice chunky buckles here that's lined in the linen fabric that it's made with, which we love. Those are things that we definitely want to look for when we're thinking of, you know, affordable designer looking pieces. Um, these really nice thick, waistband belt details so these are all great things this is actually a size medium large i believe they only do like multi sizes or dual sizes which i think is weird but i guess because it's giving that oversized trend you can kind of cross size now it actually does have a few really nice elements on the inside as well it's actually got this lined detail here that runs through the sleeve which actually gives the fabric a little bit more structure a little bit more um of an opaque like a, a less transparent opacity but it doesn't actually go all the way down in terms of their details it is quite long it is like almost floor dusting uh, i'm about five six five seven it also is double breasted which we also like also has these sort of button details here for the pocket but i am going to return this mostly because although it fits exactly how i want it to fit I just know, one, that this linen fabric here, as you can see, it just came out of the packaging, is wrinkled. Um, and it's going to continue to wrinkle, mostly because it's linen and because it's not lined fully on the inside. Now, I know that it's kind of asking for a lot to have a coat that is $109, that's how much it costs, have it be fully lined. Um, and so... I wanted to try it on. It's not exactly one of those key staple pieces that I feel like I'll have forever. Um, it's also white, which I feel like is a is a hard sell for my closet because I'm so clumsy. It's taking a lot of willpower uh, to not keep this because it is so cute and it fits so well. Uh, so if you're looking for a coat like this, it definitely is a very good choice. Uh, but for me, I'm really trying to look for those key statement pieces that are going to last me forever, especially in a style like this where I kind of want to keep it forever and I want it to be a classic. So $109, I got it in a medium large, um, definitely great in terms of the style and the fit, just a little lacking on the quality. So unfortunately, we're going to have to return it. All right, and you know your girl got suckered in to getting a pair of PJs. PJs are my favorite thing in the world. If you're new to this channel, you might not know that, but if you aren't new to this channel, you know your girl was super into this set. So this mint green style satiny silky PJ, which is my preferred style of PJ, I saw it and I was like, must. Um, I basically live in PJs. I mean, we sleep in our lives for eight hours out of the day, so, and those are in PJs. So, I mean, I feel like that's valid to have a large PJ collection. Now, this piece here is actually a two-piece set. It comes in both pieces, which I love. Um, Zara has some really nice PJ sets too, but they sell them separately, which I don't really understand, and actually makes it quite expensive. The pants here don't have an elast uh, a little like drawstring detail, so it is fully elastic. I did learn from the last PJ set that I tried at H&M that I don't need to size up on them, which typically I do in their PJs or in PJs in general. Um, there's still a lot of stretch here, which is really nice. So again, this is a small, I'm normally a small. The PJ top here is also really nice. I feel like could also be used as a real top. I mean, the PJ style trend is still kind of there. So the two pieces here are $34.99. Super, super comfortable. I love this sort of green color. It's definitely been my color recently. I feel like it goes really well with my neutral, so naturally it has kind of become the sort of statement color of my wardrobe. I love it. I love PJs and the silky touch to it. So nice. The very last thing that I got is actually from H&M Home slash, I guess, Lifestyle. I actually saw this online a couple of times and it was always sold out. And it's something that I really love to do. So I really like to journal. Um, I'm not super consistent with it, but I try my best to be. And one of the things that I feel like has been really helpful for my journaling is making it really bite sizable um, or bite size quantity. So not needing to write full journal entries. So this one here, it's called One Line a Day. It's a five-year memory book which is so fun so each of the pages has a date um, like an open date on it uh, there's five different lines so the idea is that every year on that date you write a line and then the next year when you get back to that date you can kind of see where you were that year 
on that same date and I just love that sentiment actually one of my girlfriends picked up one for me a few years back but it got ruined because I spilled the tea all over it um, it was also turquoise which is not exactly my color but I feel like this linen -y style is so aesthetic makes for a really cute home decor piece as well as a really great mindful piece so really liked this I believe it's $24.99 but for something that you're gonna use for five years and it's gonna help your mental health, I feel like it's totally worth it. And if it's still available, I would pick it up and also makes for a really good gift. Pick it up because I feel like they always sell out. And that's it for my H&M spring haul. I know that I didn't show a ton of variety. Like I said, I feel like my hauls have kind of shifted a little bit to become things that I really wanna add in my closet and not just pieces that I bought to show you. But I hope you guys liked it. If you did, a reminder to give it a big inspired thumbs up. Comment below your favorites as always. As well as if you have any spring sort of trends that you're really loving right now, I'd love to know. We are entering into the warm season, which for a Canadian is so, so welcome and exciting. And if you're new to the Inspire family, we'd love it if you join us and subscribe. OG Inspire fam, I hope you're having a great start to the spring season. But with that, I hope you have an inspiring rest of your day. Remember that kindness doesn't cost a thing and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.